First at 6 o'clock, surveillance video captures a crash. A box truck hit by a train as it crosses the tracks. Fortunately, the driver was able to walk away. Wow. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Martin. Unbelievable. I'm Phil Sanchez. Thank you for joining us tonight. Crashes at railway crossings are nothing new to Indiana. That's according to Operation Lifesaver. Indiana ranks third in the country for highway rail collisions behind only Texas and California. Yeah, this morning's crash happened on County Road 650 South in Johnson County. Sierra Hignite joins us now with what the driver told police, Sierra. It's incredible that he could tell police anything after wow, that video. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, when police arrived, this is what they found on the scene. They found a man who was unharmed in the front of that box truck. But look at the back of the truck. It was completely torn off. Now, the driver told police that he tried to outrun the train. Take a look at the corner of your screen. You can see a white box truck trying to speed across the tracks as a train is approaching the crossing. The individual admitted to the deputies on the scene that uh, uh, he tried to beat the train and it's not gonna, he, he lost. The train tore off the back of the truck, but the front where the driver was sitting is untouched. You know, just to, just to have that thought that I'm gonna beat this train, I'm in a large box truck is, is crazy. Luckily, no one was seriously injured in this crash, but that isn't always the case. We've reported on fatal crashes in Johnson County before, including this one, where a woman died last March. The train traffic has picked up um, on that side of the county. Uh, a train's running north and south. The sheriff says railway safety has been top of mind for the entire county. Since there are so many areas that have railroad crossings, but not all of them have stop arms. From Franklin all the way north to Greenwood or Edinburgh, you know, all the, the public officials have been talking, trying to do something with the arms. Recently, a federal grant was approved funding the addition of 17 stop arms across the county. You can see on this map where they'll be added. The location where this crash happened is not on that list. And this morning, this individual was very, very fortunate. While the sheriff says he would like to see stop arms at every crossing, he also thinks drivers need to pay attention when approaching train tracks. I, I think cell phones have a lot to do with it, too, and people just simply not paying attention. The driver involved in this crash will be ticketed after the investigation is complete. Reporting, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV, News 8.